This goes out to my wife, Michelle. Miss Cook, Lady Rue. Lady Rue, Lady Rue, Lady, lady hold me down, I love you. She's a woman of integrity, focus on eternity. Slugger with E and T forever. the Lord everybody welcome back to Slug TV did you go to church today today we're going to be expounding on love we thank you for tuning in to our episode on trust and our episode on faith but today we're going to be expounding on love as you can see God brought love back to the hood with mad loving he brought everybody together it was peaceful and it was mad loving and I just thank God for that Hey Amen. We want to give a shout out to everybody in Mad Loving. That's Madison, Love Joy, and Venice. Mm -hmm. God showed up, you know what I'm saying, uh, for bringing people together with some peace, you know what I'm saying? So we're going to praise God for peace. We're going to thank God for love. We were going to mm -hmm. do an episode on love before, like, you know, Valentine's Day and all that type of stuff. But we had waited, and now it's time to do it. Uh, so we're about to get it in right now. So we just, again, thank everybody for tuning in. It, it means a lot to us, man, because uh, that, that let us know that you're watching. Me and Lady Rue, we take our time out to come to you guys and come to your homes, come to your iPhones and your Blackberries and all type of uh, social networks, Twitter. And I uh, just want to thank God for you just tuning in, man. We really appreciate you. And we want to thank God for all those people who subscribe to our YouTube page, thank man. You. Thank you. That really means a lot. Keep on hitting us up with comments. Again, prayer requests. If you have prayer requests, you can send them to PR at sluggeroo.com. And we'll pray for you. We'll be in agreement for something going on in your life. So we about to get it in with love. So buckle your seats down. We about to get it in. Holy Ghost fire. We ghosted, as we say, for king and kingdom. Go ahead, baby. Amen. Okay, and for all you females out there, you know I always have some for the ladies. For all you females out there looking for love in all the wrong places, this your girl, Lady Rue, encouraging you to read this life-changing book called The Bible. There are 66 separate books and 1,189 chapters and hundreds and thousands of words, but this Bible shares one extraordinary message, and that's love. That's love. God loves you. He loves you. Amen. Amen. And we're going to go and read uh, some good, familiar scripture, which everyone knows about. And you know, the main topic we're talking about today is what? Love. My wife, she's going to read this real quick. It's going to be John 3 and 16. Go ahead, man. John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Amen. And that's the greatest love of all. You know what I'm saying? God's love. It says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Now, how many of us would give our only son? You know what I'm saying? Some people be tripping off of uh, their last dollar. You know what I'm saying? I won't give you your last dollar. Or when you're eating on a date with your, your wife, you know what I'm saying? You got that last piece. You don't want to give it to her, but you do because you love her. And that's awesome. And I'm also going to jump to... Uh, John 15, 12 through 17, and it says this, and it says, this is my commandment, that ye love one another as I loved you. That's real deep. And it says, greater love have no man than this, that he laid down his life for his friends. Now, back in the world, when I was banging, I banged from 12 to 23, and it was like, I'll ride or die, kill or be killed. But I was lost, though. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to do those things in the street, thinking that everybody loved me, but they really didn't. They was just using me to get what they needed to get. You know what I'm saying? Manipulation with the gangs and the violence and stuff that we did. But I found that there's true love in Jesus Christ. He says, greater love have no man than he laid down his life for his friends. So now that is for Christ I live and for Christ I die. And that's real talk right there. And it says, ye are my friends if you do whatsoever I command you. So it says, he is a friend of yours if you do what he tells you to do. Follow instructions. Follow instructions. God's instructions. God's instructions. Not man. Not man. Say, Amen. I'm, I'm echoing. That's, that's my baby. You know what I mean? We, we join. We bounce off each other. Yeah, praise God. Amen. And it says, Henceforth I call you not servants, for the servant knoweth not what his Lord doeth, but he have called you friends. For all things that I have heard of my Father I have made unto you. Yet, Excuse me, it says, ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you. You heard that right. He chose you. And it says, and ordained you. Ordained you. And it says that you should go forth and bring forth fruit. Bring forth fruit. You know what I'm saying? That means produce something. Hallelujah. 
You have to produce something. You know why people say, no, nah, they judge me. No, nah, what are you producing? You know what I'm saying? If it says you're an apple tree, you be an apple tree. I'm just using, you know, paraphrasing on things like that because you have to bear fruit, okay? And it says, and that fruit should remain. It should remain. You know what I'm saying? If, you, if you're showing some integrity, it should remain integral, okay? And it says, that whatsoever ye shall ask of the Father in my name, he may give it to you. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Not my name, not, not your uh -uh. name. Not your name. Right. Jesus' name. Jesus' name. And it says, these things I command you that ye love one another. You got to love one another, man. And that's the main thing we're talking about today is love. I love my wife, you know what I'm saying? But I love Jesus more than my wife because that's the order. God first, your wife, your family, then your ministry. And uh, we just want to give a shout out to everybody out there who's loving the right way, man. Love your neighbor. Love your enemies. That's the main thing that the Bible talks about is love. And we got another scripture that we're going to jump to real quick before we go to our break. And this is John 10 and 11. And it reads, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd giveth his life for his sheep. Amen. And that's deep, man. He gave up his life for a sheep, man. We are a sheep. Sheep begat sheep. But our shepherd, he gave up his life for us, man. And that's real talk, man. So what we want to do is just uh, thank everybody out there right now under the sound of our voice. We want to thank you thank for you. loving your loved ones. You know what I'm saying? We want to thank you for loving your enemies. You know what I'm saying? We want to congratulate you. You know what I'm saying? Congratulations for being a loving person, man. And that's what our ministry is about, spreading love and the God's grace everywhere respectfully to rejoice on, on and on. You know and what I'm saying? the main thing is love yourself. Love because yourself. if you don't love yourself first, you there's no way you can love anyone else. That's right. That's right. Love yourself, you know what I'm saying? And, and that's the key, because you have to have that uh, that go about yourself, that, that that get up and go, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Love yourself no matter what. No know? matter what, no matter how you look, no matter, um, you know, some people, they're beating themselves up about this winter weight. Don't worry about that. If God gave it to you or put it on you, you can handle it. It says in his word, he won't put no more on you than you can bear. So whatever you got, you can handle it. Amen. Amen. That's real talk, you know, that's encouraging to me, you know what I mean? I want to get my exercise on, you know what I mean? But that is real talk, man. Be happy, man. Be thankful for what you got, man, with love, you know what I'm saying? If you don't got a lot, hey, pray to God. He might bless you with something, you know what I'm saying? If you need more, pray to God. It says not, the door should be open, you know what I'm saying? So that's what we're trying to uh, relay this message out to all y'all. But uh, check this out. We got a special commercial. We'll be right back after these messages. What's up out there? I just want to um, let all my Did You Go To Church fam know that your girl, Lady Ruth, is in the Sparkman magazine. This is something new to me, but God is doing a new thing for my good and his glory. I want y'all to check this out. Pick it up if you get it at your churches and look on page, I believe it's 14. I'll be looking at it, but it's just, you know, it don't really do nothing to me. I'll be like, oh, okay, that's me. But everybody, oh, you in the magazine? Okay, so that's cool, but... It's all for God's glory. Check it out. Be encouraged. He did it for me. He can do it for you too. But you got to be true. Welcome back to Did You Go to Church Today on Slug TV. For those who weren't watching earlier, we would like to um, let you know about the Sparkman Publication Magazine, this church magazine that I am featured in this month, More Than a Conqueror. We also have our VIC card that we got this month also for um, prison ministry. Me and my husband, we go to uh, prison, different prisons in Illinois and Missouri, giving our testimony, encouraging the men and the women, and uplifting them in their spirit, telling them that they can make it, because if he did it for us, he can do it for them and you too. So right now, everything is surrounded by love. You know what I'm saying? We go, we share that love, that agape love of God, the love that is um, rarely expressed. Nobody hardly talks about the agape love, and that's the love of God. Amen. 